Hey there, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I feature people living alternatively. As you can imagine, I've featured plenty of quirky characters on this channel, but the homeowners in today's video might take the prize for the biggest personality. Their self-described hippie van is definitely a reflection of their eccentric character. I don't care who you are or if you're into vans or tiny homes or whatever, these people are just fun. Let's take a tour of this vibrant van conversion with its fun-loving owners and an adorable corgi. Hi, we are Jurian and Sandra and together with our dog Fudge, we travel through Europe in our self-converted hippie van. traveled before with our tent but we are a lot more flexible with our camper van like this so that's what inspired us to travel like this so we like to camp in the wild since we are dutch we are cheap no just kidding we really like to be in nature <laughs> we make a sport out of finding a camp spot for free which is beautiful has water and no people no people <laughs> So that's what we are looking for. Where Google Maps stops, the journey really begins. Yes, that's true. So we really like the freedom that van life gives us. But in order to enjoy the freedom, we need to think about quite a lot of things. Finding a nice spot might take more time than you participated. But also, do I have enough food? Do we have enough water? Do we have enough shade for the dog and for ourselves? So, this is a Toyota Hiace from 2005. It has 4x4 and a turbo diesel engine, so we can go anywhere. Yeah! First thing we did when we bought it, we cut a hole in the roof for our pop-up top. It's a universal pop-up roof and you have to customize this to your own curves of your car. We only need to release two of these strips and then with one little push it will open on its own. We basically did everything ourselves, from insulation to electricity, building cabinets, name it. We didn't even know we were this handy. We learned quite a few skills along the way. We bought this car for 4000 euros and upgraded it with 5000 euros. Since we both are quite eccentric people, we wanted a unique van and that's why we painted the exterior of the van, we put a retro wallpaper inside, some decorative elements, lots of color, rainbows everywhere. We have a fully equipped kitchen with running water and we have a two burner stove underneath this, but we really wanted some a large countertop space so that's why we have this it's a cutting board countertop space and we can use it as a small table outside one thing is i am banned from the kitchen because the first time i cooked in this kitchen i put the pans too far to the back and i completely burned the back side so that's why yorian cooks right now and i have absolutely no problem with that no because you can't cook so it's fine I fixed the back because it was all black and now we can cook properly again. One thing we really like about our van is the possibility to cook inside and outside. We have also a diesel heater, a USB socket and a 12 volt socket on both sides of the car. 
this is our storage for pans, food. We even have a bottle rack on the bottom so the bottles don't roll through the van. This is the tiniest fridge we could find that has enough space and could fit in our van. It even has a very small freezer compartment and we wish we could have a bigger one but it just wouldn't fit. In this compartment we keep all the kitchenware from cups to plates to our very retro kettle and we have wine glasses which are safely stored in a PVC holder so yay for that! So we have even more space under the bed we have a safety leash for Fudge so he can't run, run around in the van uh, more storage room, we have a fire extinguisher and we have a gas alarm so we don't choke while we sleep Let's talk about business because we need to do our business too and we do it in a porta potty We are really happy with the porta potty because it allows us to stay off grid even longer and stay anywhere we want and still respect nature and one thing we really like is we don't use chemical fluids, we use biofluids so it's even better for nature we've made magnetic screens and we're really happy because we can slide them all the way to the back and slide them in so we have two strong magnets on the top and magnets on the bottom with a weight and in between there's a strip and it works like this so flip shoot and then Ah, magic happens. So welcome to our master bedroom. Not so master actually, we have a bed, but at the moment we want to sit in our comfortable living room. So let me show you how we go from bed mode to sit mode. We have a very nice table we can use so we can eat inside when it's uh, raining outside. Since we have a graphic design studio together, we created two workspaces. I'm sitting in the back and with my laptop over here, so in sitting mode and Jorian is sitting in the front. Hi, I'm making a city with a windmill. So for the cabinets we really wanted to finish them with some nice retro touches and some nice door handles. For the closet I really wanted a nice space. I didn't want to dig in some drawers. Uh, so we have a double closet, which I will show you. So I have space over here, you're in a space over here. We have some baskets. So in the end we're really happy with it. So in the back we have a lot of more of storage. Over here we have the chairs, all the barbecue stuff, shoes, food for fudge. And over here even bigger storage. And we have <laughs> bubbles. We installed this 130 watts solar panel which charges our battery. So we can have cold wine in our refrigerator and a lot of other electric stuff. We are really happy with the solar panel because that way we can stay even longer off grid and have more cold wine. And over here we have another sliding door. which comes very handy for us. Here we hold our special table. It's a rainbow table! The barbecue is safe to get all the stuff safe. Wastewater tank, another one, a water tank for showering so we don't use our drinking water. Behind this water we have our, our spare gas and gas and the diesel from the diesel heater. And also a little compressor for the refrigerator. Van life made us realize where happiness is not in having stuff or a big house, but we really like to travel and being in nature, enjoying the silence and each other.
Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon with another video tour.